Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Fable 3. We last left off, we're back in the hole, and I unlocked that location that was locked previously. So, I'm gonna check out and see where this goes. There's apparently only one way, so what does this lead to? Is this just a total waste of time, or am I gonna get some kind of rare treasure? Good. Dig spot. Okay, we're gonna get some loot out of this area at least. Picture. A random picture in the dirt that I can use to decorate my home. Aha. Uh -huh. Dig spot? No? down this way. Let me just power in through this water. Hello. Be something good. Come on, be something good. Make this trip worth my while. Health health potion? Are you kidding me? I can find those in the dirt. I mean, like items or something. Something that's like this area specific. Bothered to come back here. You can at least give me something. Just, I'm just saying, there better be something at the end of this journey. And there's a key. You know, keys, I guess, are worth it. Hey, everybody. Wow, that was the strongest spell I've ever casted there, so... Oh, jeez, come on. Don't like games that kind of do that. Oh, come on! I pressed the other button? Ouch. Wow, he died from fall damage. And there's treasure. What key is this? This is just a silver key, yeah? Nope, dig spot. Where? So I guess silver keys are worth it. I was hoping for like some kind of rare item or something, but... I get no such luck. Pearls. Probably just wait and sell off everything later on in the game, because this type of game is like, you don't really... 
need to worry too much about uh, getting, like, buying new items. Stuff like ah, gets better. Hello. As you play. Uh, let's see, quest list. Uh, this is completed, yes? Okay. Um, right, I don't care about that. Why do I have... Why is this scrolling so... Oh, because I'm doing both. That's why. Let's see, Mist Peak. We have, like, a quest I need to... Let's check these out. Wow. Oh, okay. Ah, a hero! I'm writing a book about a hero. Two, actually. Who go on a grand adventure and save the world. And along the way learn something about life and love. And that's the tricky bit. The action is thrilling, the banter is punchy, but any scene where they express their feelings for one another falls a bit flat. I've nothing to draw inspiration from. I've asked passing villagers to express themselves to each other, one-on-one. -on -one. Most give me a weird look and hurry away. And the ones who indulge me, frankly, take it further than I'd like. <laughs> what None of it helps. I don't want to see the crude, awkward fumblings of everyday folk. I need the searing intensity and awe-inspiring passion only heroes can achieve. Do you know another hero you could bring here? Uh, a real, live hero? Someone you cooperate with? Well... If there are any, uh... I must see not one hero, but Okay. Two. Any girls watching this? I want to <laughs> see two <laughs> heroes! Anyway, any girls what watching this way out of this game? Sure, me give me a message. Uh, don't answer that. Anywho... A little something new has a... No, I don't really care. So that should just be... This should just be that woman, I think. So let me see. Buying... Price is ridiculously expensive. Can I actually afford... No, I can't. I give money off items, I guess. Oh. Okay. Check this out, I guess. Got too much gear? Sell it to me! Wait, what? Where is this taking me? Wait, what? Let me see. Where am I? Yeah, he's in the town. There's the main square. He's across the bridge over that way. Why on earth am I where... Why is it telling me to go this way? Here's the bridge. Wish the map was a little bit easier to use. Now what? Oh, it's you again. Uh, the one that convinced us to keep the chickens. Thank you for what you did. Though I will say it was a strain on our marriage for a little. That it was. I didn't want to let the birds out, and she said oh, she hello. Were meant to be cooped up. Of course, I said the definition of cooped is a place you keep chickens. Finally, we came up with a compromise that worked for both of us, and more importantly, made the chickens happy. 
We don't let them run free, but we let them do the next best thing. Run races. First of Some its people kind, may think that's not much better. Oh, I expect it will catch on. <laughs> Gives the chickens an outlet for their aggression and allows us to maintain security and control. Would you like to bet on the next race? It's very simple. A speak to Horace by the track. All profits go to... Well, <laughs> mostly they go to buying more feed. They're voracious eaters. Okay. So we have the Colonel. Calm, imposing, and dignified. The Colonel is the gentleman of the course. If there were a door on the track, he would open it for the ladies. And if he wore a garment with sleeves, sleeves, he would not wipe his nose on them. If he mistake. had a nose. I guess I have to do this. I'll bet a hundred. Why not? Mr. Cluckles pours it on and sails out in front. Perfect gentlemen or no, the Colonel leaves a lot to be desired as a racer. Last place for mostly slow Joe. I did not see this coming. A glorious day down at the chicken track. With... And there it is, Avenger wins. I couldn't switch. No, oh, well, whatever. Oh, I'm ruined! Ruined! Damn you chickens! You claimed yet another victim! <laughs> part of me I thought wish we'd be safer killing them all. Other times I think. And part of me just thought it'd be fun to kill a load of chickens. <laughs> huh. Do it again. Wait, do you want me to do it again? Ah, hello! No. Okay, apparently he does want me to do it again. I'm confused. But I can't. So is it glitched? I guess so. Well, that's just dandy. Game's been off for how long and a quest is glitched? Yeah, nothing else. Okay. Wow, okay, that's an interesting statistic. Statistic. A very disturbing one at that. Ever seen anything like that? Never been here, what the heck? Okay, so another one of these moving face walls. have triumphed in many battles. I wonder, have any of those victories had any significance? Well, Countless I'm still brigands, alive, chiefs so... Chiefs and generals have made war before you, slaughtering their fellows until the ground became sodden and crimson. Yet despite all this bloodshed, there is no end to conflict. All the questions they fought to settle remain open. War is self-sustaining. War will never end, because there will always be those willing to wage it, unless you kill them. And that will require a massive weapon of supreme, devastating power. Have you got anything like that? Come on now, give us a look. Give me like 
Do I hit you? I wanted to see your weapon, but not that close up. Okay. Is that a weapon? I thought perhaps it was a bottle opener. Shut up. What I'm talking about is ending wars. You couldn't even okay. begin one with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. The heck? Let's see. Nothing else, yes? I was already here, so it just said, okay. Good for you, kid. Wait, what? Treasure? I hope to see you again soon. Dude, don't leave me hanging like this. Up oh, there it is. Hello. Who are you then? Funny, I've killed all these people, but I can't apparently lift my leg up. Two feet. Money. Cool. Uh, I want us to go. Hey, good. I can drop though. Bet you won't find a better deal oh. than here in my shop. Oh, I saw that. I see you there. Is this what you're barking about, or did you find something else? Okay, that must have been what you were barking about. So we're going to the sewers over here, are we? Yep. We've descended into the chasms of the netherworld, stared death in the face, and waded through things so foul I'd rather not think about them. But this is where it gets really ugly. And buried somewhere beneath it all are the people Logan has left behind. Okay. Page. Wish I looked half as good as you. A gentleman grows the beard. Posted by probably someone who styles beards or something. Ooh, 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 let me. Eh, eh, eh. Have to drop from above, probably. Delivery for you. You won't see too many kids running around here. Most of them have no choice but to work. It's either that or begging. Hello there. Oh, you? I don't reckon I've seen you before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you don't have cash, Hello, dog. maybe you could extend me a line of credit at a convenient shop or stall. Hello, sugar. Looking good. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you. You're a very nice person. Okay. You are Can looking some gold pretty chocolate? great. <laughs> gold <laughs> chocolate? <laughs> Always such a goody goody. Uh. Bower Stone wasn't always like this. 
Used to be a decent place to live so once. There's stuff to loot around here. Now I'm stuck. We'll be thorough and investigate what's around here. Never hurts. Oh. Can't go past the seam. So that stops this. Wow, that stopped really abruptly. What on earth is that? Doesn't look like a key. Well, maybe that's what that was for. Maybe I have to come over here. Oh no, that turned off that. I think. Puzzle, is it? See, this will turn on this. Oh, there's a lever over there as well, looks like. So if I do this... Turns on. What? This is a puzzle. Worker seven, you little skyver, get back to your post. I think I got it. Looks like I got it. Silver key. Excellent. It's amazing how steam apparently is an invisible wall, but whatever. So we got a silver key out of that. Awesome. I better get some like super cool chest item or something. Why would I dance with a dude? <laughs> okay, that's not creepy. Thanks for coming by. Note to self, only interact with women. I wonder what's going on up there. Let's see. Shall Did you just we? walk through the lamppost? Exploiting us! We deserve fair pay! We demand better working conditions! We're workers! We're not slaves! Reaver treats us like animals, but we're not gonna take it anymore! There's only one thing for it! We have to stand up to Reaver! But lying down is so much easier than standing up! My dear friends, in order to raise morale, I am offering prizes to the most deserving workers. The rules that will govern what I like to call the Reaver Team Spirit Award are these. Firstly, any worker that so much as murmurs another complaint will be shot. Secondly, any worker who takes more than a three second break will be shot. Thirdly, any worker who breaks any other rules I have yet to formulate will, yes, you guessed it, be shot. 
Oh, I return to work now. As you know, I'm a generous man and likely to start handing out prizes right away. So go on, shoo, be off with you. Chop, chop. Well, that's why we're here. That's why Albion needs you. Your brother must have been out of his mind when he handed control of Industrial to Reaver. We should go on. It's time you met the Barstone Resistance. Well, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here. So, thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.